Of course, large screens also have a number of advantages if you use high-quality widescreen lenses today. Excellent iMac certified quality, but let's not pretend it looks like a real iMac. The new shot by iMac's program certifies ARRI Alexa LF, Mini LF, Panavision DXL2, Red Ranger Monster and Sony Venice as part of the program. In addition, iMac certifies independent camera rental companies that can supply certified cameras. Previously, only the ARRI Alexa 65 iMac camera from ARRI Rental was certified by iMac. But this has changed. Earlier this week, Acta launched its 65 megapixel 9x7 digital cinema camera in the hope of putting widescreen in. iMac products in the hands of more filmmakers. What is 9x7? It's promising. It's closer to real iMac. And I'm excited about its potential. But until there are images and feedback from the real world, it's the only thing that exists now. The new iMac certified cameras, which have much smaller sensors, including the Alexa 65, are expanding their brand by reducing the quality associated with their name. At least compared to the real IMAX 15 Pro, this is just an IMAX marketing exercise. Just like they didn't do much to promote IMAX screens, which were much smaller than conventional screens. I may have misunderstood something in this IMAX release or in Article 9x7, but the above story has nothing to do with it. The good news is that IMAX only selects a limited number of films each year. Just line up for where IMAX certified press releases. So if you can get back to the movies, you can expect to see more IMAX content in the future. IMAX certifies a new fleet of cameras you can consider as Netflix certified IMAX versions. IMAX has virtually destroyed any real potential of the 9x7 system.